be so weird. <laughs> All right, so the clauses, this is just an extension from our notes yesterday, guys. You do not need to write this down. But yesterday we talked about the four clauses, farm debt, consumer debt, um, declining trade, and then the stock market crashing. I just wanted to make sure that you guys had a little extra detail. So all of this would be posted online anyway with the vocab words and whatever. So farm debt, the crop prices, because of the drought, the crop prices went down, so farmers' income went down. So that's how the farm debt um, increased. Um, consumer debt, consumers were buying more on credit than they can actually repay. So we need to make sure that we pay our bills, right? Because if a lot of people don't pay their bills back, then it becomes a problem. Businesses produce more goods than people can buy. In the 1920s, with like all the parties and like all the extravagance and the luxury items, people were like ordering and like buying more stuff. The factories didn't slow down when people stopped buying. So like there was too much product and not enough buyers. Declining trade and the high tariffs on the imports. We had fewer overseas markets because of this. So like the like we stopped being able to do business because the um, depression went like worldwide. It wasn't just with us. Uh, wealth was not equally distribu distributed. What we would see would happen is sometimes the people who were heavily involved with the stock market and were like the super rich kind of, we would see them have like a huge downfall if they didn't handle the situation well with the, with the collapse of it. So like they would go from like being very rich to like very poor. It wasn't unheard of to be like in a mansion and then on the street. Um, most of the middle class moved into poverty, um, and then a lot of the rich moved into middle class or lower. So we saw like a huge shift, and like some people were still wealthy, but for the majority there was a huge group of people who were not. Caroline, if you were still poor, would you like just stay poor? And you would just be poorer. Like, it would be even harder. So with the little money you had, you lost that? Yeah. Wait, in Russia, did they print more money and then they burned the money? Uh, we'll talk about that because that was Germany. We'll talk about it when we do World War II. Clark? Were there people who did not, like, put their money in the bank accounts and kept their money? Yes. Yeah. Were they the smart ones? Yep. Well, well, I mean, you can't really see ahead that... Yeah, like you couldn't yeah. see that that was going to happen, but after this you could probably see an effect of that people don't trust the bank, mm. right? Yeah. So where do people, do you remember, like do you know in like your own mind of just being an American where people would put, hide their money? Under their bed? Yeah, in their mattress. So they would like hide, their bed, hide it in their bed um, because they didn't trust the banks. Um, so one of the causes too is the stock market crashing. Wait, so then weren't just robbers like steal money? So well, I mean, it was it, it was more common like to find that out after the fact. So like people didn't trust the banks, so they would hide it in their home. Um, the effects, so many banks would run short of money and they failed. Businesses had to lay off their workers because they couldn't afford to like pay their people, so people lost their jobs. So as a result of that, unemployment, hunger, and poverty went like widespread. Economic failure spread throughout the world. And then we see our example here of small government, okay, with Herbert, with Herbert Hoover. Um, so he responds cautiously. He felt the government should stay out of business um, and that the economy would eventually fix itself in time. He's not technically wrong. Over the course of history, just like the wave of big, small, and like big, small governments, that's the same thing. We've had waves of like recession and then like the economy's good and then it's bad and then it's good. This just took like a huge dive and it was like unprecedented. Like it, people didn't know what to do with it. Um, but the outcome is people wanted a new president. Okay, um, so Franklin Delano Roosevelt becomes our new president and last night you read about the New Deal. So FDR launches the New Deal. Okay, um, you can pause it now. <laughs> 